good early morning guys. We are up early this morning. I'm just on the balcony of our hotel and check out this view. It's amazing. Hello, I'm just getting ready. We are, today we're heading to the Tiger Temple. It's a really popular hike to do here in Krabi in our name. So I think we're going to jump in a taxi that we have pre-booked. I don't think, I know, that is what we're doing. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> um, we pre-booked a private taxi to take us there and back. So we're here at the base of Tiger Temple. We're just having a bit of a look around. There is quite a few monkeys, which every time we hear a noise, a rattle, something drop, sort of freaks us out a little bit. Yeah. But we're at the base now. We are about to head up the stairs. saying to Steve, I'm glad I had coffee this morning. So we've been going for about, I reckon, four minutes and we're pretty exhausted. These are some steep stairs. They're not your normal stairs. They're about twice the height as normal stairs. Oh <laughs> so, so far we've seen two dogs running up and down the stairs. I don't know why they're doing it. I think we're about a quarter of the way. There are 1,260 of these steps. Nice thing is, on the posts, they show how many you have oh, climbed. 1,998 steps to go from yeah. here. So the set of stairs that we're climbing are the new set of stairs, and Christy just said they're, what, 200? 1,260. 1, 1, 1, <laughs> my brain can't work right now. The old set of stairs, there was actually less because I'll show you why. They were triple the height. They are like three times steeper than the yeah. stairs we're climbing now. Oh, we are actually dying. So a little bit of history on the Tiger Temple while we're catching our breath. Oh, definitely out of breath. The temple was founded in 1975, and it's believed the monk who found it witnessed tigers roaming the mountain, and they also found tiger paw prints on the wall of a cave at the bottom of the stairs, hence, Tiger Temple. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> oh. Look at the view, it's so beautiful. It's like gonna get even better, obviously, yeah. as we get higher to the top. We're only a third of the way up, and the view's already pretty incredible. another 410 to go. I am glad we came early. One, because it's a little, don't get me wrong, still insanely hot, but it's a little bit cooler. And we've only passed maybe three, four couples yeah. coming back down. And we're the only ones we can see climbing up. There is another sort of elderly couple below us. But essentially we've got the whole set of stairs to ourselves which is nice because we stop every little platform and have a break. Yeah. Doesn't matter. As long as we get to the top it doesn't matter how long it takes. It took about 15 to 20 minutes to get halfway so according to those according to those calculations it should take 30 to 40 minutes. They were the steepest steps yet, but good news. We're at step 1000. 
only 260 more to go. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> we made it. I would say the last 150 steps were actually really lovely. We crossed paths with a monk and I think he could see we were struggling a bit. I think you could see everyone was struggling. And he's just like... In through breathe. the nose, yeah, yeah out and through the mouth. And he stayed with us for a minute or so and breathed with us. And he just said, <coughs> slow down, like go slow. So that's what we did and it was really enjoyable. Can't say that for the first 1,060 steps. <laughs> we're going to catch our breath at this first little platform area. Uh, and then head up the top to see the very top and the amazing views. Looking down to the temple that we saw at the bottom of the mountain that's getting built really shows how far we've walked up. It's literally just below us, so it just shows how steep the stairs actually are. We just did a quick Google, it's 278 metres of elevation. Mm -hmm. Pretty high. Very high. down now and I think I've worked out a method to walking downhill downstairs on the side because I think my feet are too long to be able to sort of like fit properly and these are the wider stairs as well so if you go sideways easy. it was definitely worth all the pain oh, of climbing up the stairs that was, that was brilliant that was so nice at the top beautiful all right, we're down from the top. Yeah. I think coming down towards the end was just as hard as going up. Yeah, it was, I got jelly legs, Steve got jelly legs as well. <laughs> we actually filmed it. I could not stop shaking my leg. I think all trails at rate this hard, so they do easy, moderate, hard, and it is very hard. Yeah. It's doable though. I think, um, I don't know, what the monk said really resonated with me, just go very slow, and it was so much more enjoyable once I sort of took that on board. Yeah. But I think now we're gonna grab an ice cream and a cola to reward ourselves, yeah. head back to our pool and get a bit of R&R &R before we maybe head out to Savo. All right, so we're back in our Nang. We just went back to our hotels for a quick freshen up and we are absolutely starving after that hike. Yes, I found a cute little family owned Thai restaurant not far from our hotel. So I think we're gonna go there and grab some food. I am hungry, hungry, hungry. And after that, we're probably gonna explore the town a little bit and show you guys around. So I forgot to mention the price of getting to Tiger Temple. We paid 1200 baht and that was a return trip. That was with a private taxi. You can get the, I don't know what you call them, tuk-tuk buses. That will also be 1200 baht, but you can get about eight people in there. So if you're looking to save money, going with a group of people is definitely the best thing to do. Alternatively, you could hire mopeds. There was plenty of moped parking there. I don't know how much mopeds cost because we haven't looked into it, but I'm sure that would be a lot cheaper than paying for a taxi there and back. So there's also these tuk-tuk motorbikes. I'm not sure if they would even take you as far as the Tiger Temple, because it was about 25 minutes out of a Nang, but you could always ask. The traffic hit here isn't as crazy as what we experienced in Vietnam, but it's not too far off in some places. It's just the tourists you got to watch out on the mopeds. Oh my god, there's so many people that should not be on mopeds. Hence the reason why we don't hire them. We're self-aware enough to know that we 
shouldn't be hiring them. I think we would be a right on the mopeds. It's all the other people around us. That's such a male thing to say. So the little cafe restaurant that we're going to is hidden down this alleyway. It's on the Soy Al Nang 6 and it'll be delicious. had these the first time we're in Thailand and they are, when they're fresh, one of the best things here in Thailand. We love them so much. Yeah. And it's just heaps of different vegetables, fish sauce, a lot of lime. You know, it's so fresh and delicious and just a good time. So I went for pretty basic Pad Thai. <laughs> you can't go wrong with Pad Thai in Thailand. No, I was being lazy to be honest. I just saw that on the second page and it sounds good to me. Alright, we saved the best for last, the chili salted prawn. Mine, mine, mine. I don't have enough words in my vocabulary <laughs> to explain how delicious these shrimps are, the prawns. They are fried to perfection and they're so thick, they're really meaty, really sweet, and they've got a really nice crispy crunch to it. But they are amazing, they're so good. Alright, we're going to put the camera down and get stuck into this. It looks really good. So it sounds a little bit weird, but I find the best part of the prawn are the little legs. They're so crunchy and with all the like seasonings, the chilli and the salt, they are so good. Delicious. So just like last time, one of the best meals we've ever had here in Thailand. It was amazing, it was delicious. We have eaten there before. One of the first few days we got here, we went there. That's why we know that it was good and we went back. So that lunch came to a total of 770 baht, with the prawns being by far the most expensive. They were 600 baht just by themselves, which is the equivalent of about 30 to 32 Australian dollars. It's not the cheapest place, in Aonang, but it's definitely not the most expensive so it's kind of I would say maybe mid-range but really delicious good quality food the staff are really lovely and we're making the most of the affordable seafood while we're here in Thailand yes because you cannot get those prices for that quality food in Australia It's a couple days later. We never ended up filming an end to this video. We have left Ao Nang and we're currently in Koh Lanta. Why didn't we end up filming the rest of the video, Steve? So we ended up having a fight and didn't mm -hmm. speak for the rest of that day, plus a little bit the next morning. Naturally my fault. <laughs> Definitely your fault. Um, we were actually arguing about where to go for the rest of the year because we haven't fully planned that out yet. Um, so stay tuned to find out where we end up going. <laughs> So we're going to end the video here on this beautiful white sandy beach, Long Beach in Koh Lanta, mm -hmm. and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!